Oh, hey. Welcome to the den. What can I get you? Alright, first time here? Okay, you just finish up real quick. Alright. Hey, sorry I'm late. No, oh, you're fine. So much traffic everywhere. Alright, so let me just give you a little idea of what we've got. We've got full liquor, uh, bar, and wine license, so whatever you want. Oh, okay. The classic. Black cranberry? Okay. You want to grab me a cranberry? Yeah. Thanks. So what brings you to New Orleans? Of course. Oh yeah, we get, we get parties like that all the time. Bachelorette parties, bachelor parties, probably weddings every night. Everybody gets into the whole gothic thing. Yeah. Are they new here? Yeah, they're here, they're here for a bachelor. Are you right? Mm -hmm. First timers. Oh yeah. Yes. We like virgins. Yeah, we love virgins. Alright, so I like to make my own strong, so I'll be okay with that. A little more? Sure. Oh yeah, no problem. Oh, sure. Yeah, I actually had one from earlier. You want to cheers? Yeah. Yeah, I'll get you going. <laughs> I'm done with the cap on. Yeah, I've had a couple of those already. Gotta be a little tipsy to work here. We get some crazy regulars. Mm -hmm. Like you see that guy over there? Last night I shot him throw up in someone else's shit. Mm -hmm. And he's back again. So I mean, but we're nice here, I promise. We're placing bets really on who he's gonna do it to next, so <laughs> it's kind of a regular thing around here, but I mean we see a lot of weird things at the den, so. Yeah. But it's our bachelor party, we should take a shot. <gasps> Celebrate. Yeah. Uh, what's your pick of poison? Okay. Sounds good to me. Do you pour? Yeah. We're gonna use we're gonna use paper cups because you know COVID, so we're gonna be a little careful. Um that's your souvenir cup, so you get to keep it and take it home with you, so I'm not worried about that one. Mm-hmm. Let's do it. Oh yeah, this is our normal aesthetic. Do you like it? We have a gift shop if you want to get some of your own. Everybody loves to get their little knickknacks when they come to New Orleans, you know? Did you switch to a cocktail? I sure did. I did. Is that what you want? <laughs> the burn never goes away, but it's kind of what we go for anyway. Oh, yeah. You want to see hers? Sure. I want to see your Oh, thank you. Yeah, it's from the Kill Star. It's like oh, a cool yeah. brand. I don't know. I like it though. They sell their merch here too, so if you want to go to the gift, the, well, not a gift shop, but the uh, section over there with our jewelry, you can do that. Well, it's not really sanitary, but we're a little bit off the off the books here, so we kind of do whatever we want. Yeah, a little hair play, you know, <laughs> at the bar because it's sanitary. <laughs> Gotta flick some out. Yeah, you're touching my nose, you know. <laughs> it's called the den after all. It's gotta be a little dingy. Hey, can I just drink with you, sure. Sure, the bathroom's right over there. Hey, did you find it okay? Alright, cool. Yeah. Well, actually, actually, she knows a little bit more about the whole performance thing than I do, but yeah, they usually come here every night, so I'll let her explain it because I'm not too familiar with it. It's usually not my night. Okay. 
fine. I'm on my 15 minute break. Mm. I mean, not really, but don't sound like boss, but like, I just have to have drinks when I'm here because I'll go crazy. Oh my gosh, but the burlesque performance is going to be amazing. Her name is Twilight, and she does like this fire spinning act, and I hear she does like something with her vagina. It's going to be really weird. I'm excited. Mm -hmm. I know, it's a little crazy. If you're a first time, it might be a lot, but I mean, if you're going to come to a burlesque performance, you got to enjoy all of it, you know? For sure. Well, to commemorate your first time watching a burlesque show, you want a tequila shot? They've been in the house. Yeah, I want, I want to try to. Oh, cool. Do you have a preference? Um, I go for Patron or Jose Cuervo. Patron? Okay. Cool. So, we're going to use the paper shots again. <laughs> You guys are so fun. I'm surprised you've never been here before. They like, totally fit our style and oh, aesthetic. Yeah, sure. Uh, Ryan? Okay. Naomi is way more productive than I am as bartender. I just got this job so I can go out and not pay for my own drinks. <laughs> to be perfectly honest. Oh, yeah. So, who's the lucky guy? It's your bachelorette party, right? Oh, girl, you love a progressive queen. <laughs> Ready? There you go. Okay, I'll get an extra one for us. Come on, yours. Nice. See so, yeah, what kind of shows do you have around where you are? That doesn't sound too exciting. Yeah, we have burlesque shows. Um, on my nights, we usually have Fire Boy. Uh, that's really fun. And. Um, on Thursdays we do like like a 90s kind of 2000s thing for a lot of the retro goths but I'm not really into that I kind of have my preferences you know like anybody else so where do you party when you uh, are back at home I have for a lot of y'all yeah I've never been there mm-hmm mm -hmm. Fetish factory? Is that what it's called? I mean, I think I've heard of that place. Fetish factory? Yeah. yeah. I think I have heard of it. That sounds kind of like my speed. I mean, if it's not obvious. <laughs> so, we're going to do another one because why the fuck not? Oh, yeah. The four right there. Ready? Cheers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that one, that one always hits me in a funny way. <laughs> like I said, I, we don't really know how to bartend. We just drink. Yeah. But we, we do know how to make one really cool drink. It's called the red-headed slut. Not me. Just the drink. But we'll definitely make you some of those. We should do that. Want to do red-headed slut? Yeah. So I really like your hair. Mm -hmm. Are you are you are you part of the the bridal party, the the wedding party, or are you like flying solo with your friends? Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm single, just so you know. Yeah, she is too. We can share. I'm just saying, like, if you, if you're interested, you know, we could do that. Yeah, my boyfriend actually works here. That's why I'm working at, yeah, I'm actually working his shift, but, you know, he's okay with it. Promise. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. 
Are you ready for your uh, next shot? A slut for a slut. Mm hmm. Boop. Cheers. Enjoy it. <laughs> Well, the burlesque is going to start soon, so if you want to get a good seat, I would recommend sitting a little bit to the left of the stage. Um, that's really where it's going to be the best. They end up throwing a lot of their garments that way, so you're really going to luck out if you go over there. Just saying. The panty position, as we like to call her. Yes. <laughs> the panty position. Mm -hmm. I can show you if you want. Yeah. Too forward. Okay. Well, you have fun, and um, let us know how it is afterwards. Sure. Yeah, you can find it right over there. Hey, how was the burlesque show? Yeah? Were you in the panty seat? Nice. Nice. Yeah, did you did you happen to see did you happen to see our friend over there that was um next to you, like two seats over, getting in out of that guy? The one in the trench coat. He was sitting on your friend. Isn't he like, he's like here all the time, even on my nights and I'm only here a couple times. Are you talking about weird trench coat guy? Yes. Ew, no. I mean, I don't know. Maybe he has a good personality. Oh, he's kind of weird. He's not a good person. He's not a good, I don't even know his name. He's come in for like three years. He'll come in, he's looking over here. He'll come in and he'll dance by himself with this giant trench coat no matter what season it is and just... He dances so weird, and he doesn't know how to leave. He just like follows you everywhere. He's a little awkward. Yeah, he kind of lingers. And I mean, we don't He's like to linger. be rude, but I've just I've seen him do that thing where they like throw up in their mouth after they take a shot, and then kind of swallow that down. And then he'll hit on you right after that. Yeah, right it, in your it's face. weird. It's, and I saw a girl make out with him once, and I, she definitely didn't know. And I bet she regrets that a lot. <laughs> is your friend is your friend feeling a little tipsy? Like. Well, he has a really, he has a really good ability to kind of throw people off in his like niceness because I think people feel sorry for him, so they end up talking to him too long and then they give away their number. So, just kind of giving your friend a heads up that like we really don't want to get involved with that guy. You yeah, really trust me. I mean, like we know like everyone here. They're they're always regulars, so like we're not trying to do it to be mean. We're trying to. Be safe with your girlfriend. Just trying, you know, yeah, just trying to look out for your friends, especially if they're only going to be here for a short amount of time. Maybe they're feeling a little friendly, like we were feeling a little friendly. It's just, it's the right thing to do to tell you, I think. So, just, you know, letting you... Oh, well, okay, well, if she's feeling too sick, then you, maybe, maybe you should take her home. Yeah, I can, I can call you a cab if you want. I mean, it's not the first time you've called a cab. I can do it. It's no, there's no shame in that. Yeah, I mean, we took, like, what, like, five shots i mean mm -hmm. still champion yeah i mean well we've got more customers coming anyway and it looks like they're another bridal shower bachelor or bachelor party who even knows anymore so it's late so if you want us to call your friend a cab so you can stay away from trench coat guy and have an early night it's totally fine with us okay yeah no problem well thanks so much for coming by the den i mean it's nice that you came by you know, New Orleans is really cool, and we love working here, so if you ever want to come back sometime, um, you know, hit us up. Hit us, hit us up at the den. <laughs> hit the den, I don't know. Hit the den. Yeah, we still haven't found a good catchphrase for this place. Yeah, we're it's working been like 20 on it. Years. We're working on it, but, you know, a day at a time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, all right. She'll call you cab, and I'm going to close out your tab while she's doing that. Sound yeah, good? Yeah, I'll do that, so. Okay, all right, see you. We'll see you, sweetie. Bye.